Welcome. Today we're diving into the world of bee trees and bee plus trees. These are special tree structures that play a crucial role in how databases organize and quickly access data. We will explore how these tree structures are essential for efficient database indexing. So why is database indexing so important? Well, it primarily speeds up data retrieval operations. By using indexes, the database can quickly locate the data that you need instead of scanning the entire table. This significantly reduces disk input output by minimizing the number of page accesses required to find the data. Indexes also enable efficient range queries and sorting of the data. Because of these advantages, indexing is a critical component for ensuring large databases perform well. Let's begin with the introduction to bee trees. Bee trees are self balancing tree data structures, meaning they automatically adjust themselves to maintain balance as data is inserted or deleted. All leaf nodes are at the same level ensuring consistent access times. Bee trees are designed to minimize disk input, output operations, and are optimized for block storage systems. The order of a bee tree, denoted as M, refers to the maximum number of children a node can have. Each node has between M divided by 2 and M children and contains between M divided by 2 minus 1 M minus 1 keys. This guarantees efficient operations. Now let's discuss the search operation in bee trees. We will use a function called bee tree search that takes the root node and the key to search for as input. The search process starts at the root node and compares the key with the keys in the current node. If the key is found in the current node, the function returns true. Otherwise, the process follows the appropriate child pointer based on the key's value. If the current node is a leaf node and the key is not found, the function returns false. The time complexity for searching in a bee tree is determined by the height of the tree, which is on the order of log base m of n, where m is the order of the bee tree and n is the number of keys. Searching within a node takes on the order of log m time. Typically using a binary search, the overall time complexity is on the order of log m multiplied by log base m of n. Now let's examine how insertion works in bee trees. First, the algorithm locates the appropriate leaf node where the new key should be inserted, using a search-like process. If the leaf node has available space, meaning it contains fewer than m, minus 1 keys, the new key is inserted into the correct position within the node. If the leaf node is already full with m minus 1 keys, the node must be split. This involves finding the median key and creating a new node that contains all keys greater than the median. Finally, the median key is pushed up to the parent node, and the pointers are adjusted accordingly. This split might cause recursive splits all the way up to the root. If the root splits, the height of the tree increases by 1. Now let's explore the deletion process in bee trees. We will use a function called bee tree delete that takes the root node and the key to delete as input. There are several cases to consider during deletion. The first case is when the key is in a leaf node. If the leaf node has more than the minimum number of keys required, the key is simply removed. However, if removing the key causes the node to have too few keys, an underflow condition occurs, which requires either borrowing keys from a sibling node or merging with a sibling. The second case occurs when the key is in an internal node. In this case, the key is replaced with its predecessor or successor from a leaf node, and then the predecessor or successor is deleted from the leaf. This operation might cause an underflow in the leaf, which must be handled. These deletion scenarios ensure the bee tree remains balanced and efficient. Let's now introduce bee plus trees. A bee plus tree is a variation of the bee tree that is optimized for storage systems. In a bee plus tree, all keys and data are stored in the leaf nodes, while the internal nodes only store keys for navigation purposes. Additionally, the leaf nodes are linked together in sequential order. This structure provides efficient sequential access to the data. Some key advantages of B plus trees are faster sequential scanning of records, more efficient space utilization, consistent retrieval times, and better performance for range queries. Due to these benefits, 
B plus trees are widely used in databases and file systems. Now let's compare B trees and B plus trees across several features. In terms of data storage, B trees store keys and data in all nodes, while B plus trees store keys and data only in leaf nodes. Regarding node structure, all nodes in B trees have the same structure, whereas internal nodes in B plus trees differ from leaf nodes. For leaf nodes, B trees leaf nodes are not linked together while in B plus trees, leaf nodes are linked in sequential order. As for search efficiency, B trees may be faster for single key lookup, but B plus trees provide more consistent search times. When it comes to range queries, B trees are less efficient, while B plus trees are more efficient due to their linked leaves. Finally, B trees may use less space, but B plus trees offer better space utilization for large databases. Now let's discuss the real-world applications and performance characteristics of B-trees and b trees. Common applications include file systems such as NTFS, Extension 4, and HFS+. They are also used in relational databases like MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Oracle, and in NoSQL databases such as MongoDB and Cassandra. Moreover, they are used in search engines like Elasticsearch and Solar, mobile databases such as SQLite and Realm, and geospatial indexing like PostGIs and MongoDB. Performance-wise, search operations have log n time complexity. Insertion and deletion operations also have log n time complexity. Range queries in B plus trees have log n plus k complexity, where k is the result size. Space efficiency shows high node utilization, typically greater than 50%. In summary, B-trees are self-balancing tree structures optimized for disk access where all nodes can contain keys and data, guaranteeing login operations. B-trees are widely used in databases and file systems and are efficient for single key lookups. On the other hand, b trees are a variant with all data and leaf nodes, which are linked for sequential access, making them better for range queries and scans. b trees offer more consistent performance and are preferred for most database indexing. Some future trends and developments include machine learning optimized variants for predictive access patterns, adaptations for non-volatile memory and modern hardware, distributed B-tree variants for cloud-native databases, and encrypted B-trees for privacy-preserving indexing. Thank you for exploring B-trees and B-plus trees. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.